Some authors, after they die, live on through their work, some through their kids. Dick Francis, one of the legends of thriller writing, is lucky enough to do both. He lives on in particular through the work of Felix, his younger son, who's a highly acclaimed novelist in his own right. He was working on a book with his father at the time his father died, and he's done a sterling job of carrying that flame ever since. Make your characters go on a journey. Always the last one, because it's most fresh with me. I sit at my desk at nine o'clock in the morning and I do a thousand words. Sometimes I'm through by three, sometimes I'm still there at 10 o'clock at night. And I do it at home. But actually, I do it anywhere I can sit down. I'm pretty good on trains. Which other crime writers do you read? Peter James. I used to read P.D. James. Must be something in the name. Uh, Dick Francis, obviously. But I don't, I'm not very good with crime writers. I tend not to... I try not to write, read too many because I don't want to inadvertently steal their ideas. Get up, put my dressing gown on, sit down, start. Yes, I read what I wrote yesterday. Smoking. I think of a good beginning I write the beginning and I see where it takes me. The characters have a life of their own. Well, my father's books inspired me. 39 of them. I lost half a chapter once. Uh, I now back up more, more than I ever did before. I back up every, it backs up every 10 minutes. No, I was a schoolmaster, and then I was a businessman. I became an author almost by mistake. Well, we know one thing about Felix Francis. Everything he writes is going to be a dead cert.